These two traffic stops are going to make the viewer really mad. This is why everybody should know their rights. This first traffic stop happened in West Texas. As we all know, free speech is protected by the Constitution. We all know about people that flip the police off. We know that that is protected. Well, so is shouting. Watch what happens here. Violate my First Amendment right, baby. I didn't go at you or anything. You heard right. The passenger noticed that the police were messing with somebody, so he shot it out the window. Leave that boy alone. I ain't close enough. You're going to notice that the passenger, the one who shouted out the window, he is part of this movement. But the driver, he's still somewhat blue and he whispers to his friend to just comply. I would never have a blue friend. Listen for it. He tells him to comply more than once. I can't do nothing wrong. Any day, I can play my project like I I'm Officer Carter of the Blake Police Department. The reason I'm stopping you is you cannot yell out the window when I'm on a traffic stop. I need your driver's That's license. That's First Amendment right and infringement. It's called inter interfering That's with the First Amendment license. right infringement. Right, I, I can see you for that. Driver's license insurance. Need your driver's license and That's I need your driver's first license. First Amendment insurance. right infringement. Hey, no, don't do that. No, get out of the vehicle. No, I can see you for that. Hey, call this out, woman. Hey, man, get out. Here. I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Man. For what? I didn't because do nothing it's wrong. It's called Pennsylvania versus Mims. I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. You could not hey, drive what's, past what's my traffic stop and yell stuff out the window. All I said that was leave that boy alone. No, that turns I didn't cuss at you. you. It doesn't matter. That turns my attention And I didn't to say anything vulgar to you. While I was no, no, dealing with I, that. I, I get it, but call Sky. Call Sky, bro. Okay, Sorry. get out of the car. We're not calling anybody right now. Get out of the car. Oh, my lawyer is on the phone. That's fine. You, he can be on the phone all he wants. Get, get Here's out. my ID. Okay, this is called Pennsylvania versus Mims, bro. I'm going to ask you one more time to get out of the car or you're going to go to jail. Train. For what? For disobeying a lawful command. Fucking Do you have any weapons? Bro? Hey, sir. Reason for the stop? No, I'm, I'm being cooperative. Okay, man. so he yelled at the window. I okay, that's it. not no. only is that illegal, but your tent on the vehicle is also illegal. Okay. Okay, but I'm, I get it. This is not my vehicle. I'm okay. just I'm deep. Yeah, in he said car. it was his. Yeah. So tents on his vehicle is okay. illegal. Yeah. Right. So do what you got. I, I I respect yep. it. I respect it. 100. Okay. Yeah. Do what you got to do, man. 
You're blue until it happens to you. That's why we should not be mad at this driver. I mean, the only thing that he has to look forward to is Friday night football games, maybe going to Dairy Queen on Saturday, and they're bombarded by propaganda 24-7, whether it's coming from the church or the school or their own family. So you're blue until it happens to you. We should just continue to bring awareness to this type of people. I don't know what happened to the kid that got pulled out, but more than likely he had to hire a lawyer, probably at a minimum of $5,000, to get this dismissed. And this is not against the law to do, and it falls into the same category as flipping off an officer. The same thing. There's plenty of case law to support a dismissal, but yet that five grand is still going to have to come out of his pocket. Our next story, though, is very chilling. There are two important takeaways I want you to learn from this next video. Number one, do you know how people always say, well, I have nothing to hide, I'm going to give my name. Well, when you give your name, that name goes on a report with a summary. And what if the summary is wrong? Number two, never speak to the police. You can always refuse to consent to a search. But when you say you have marijuana and marijuana cards, that's probable cause for them to search, according to them. Here we go. We, hold on, sir. We have we have marijuana. And that's it. You do have marijuana. I, yes, that's all we have. We have our cards. We sure do. that video ended but the name of the video is Arkansas police strike out so I don't think they found anything in that car hopefully they didn't get any more information to put on any more reports and hopefully these people won't speak to the police ever again 